I'm gonna slow this down, and then we're gonna start. Oh my! Oh my God, guys! It's cannon bore nothing, and so that's something I need to talk about. But before I do, they start with random units. And we, we saw a couple examples of it when testing it. You know, sometimes it was elephants, sometimes it was heroes. They start with penguins and a lot of penguins that can attack. My word. Okay, so let me explain exactly what we have. So we have a King of the Hill game. So the goal is to eventually get to this monument. But blocking the monument are tons of trees, but also boars that are iron boars. And if you know iron boars, you know those things attack your villagers. They're very hard to kill and they're very annoying. However... These shoot cannonballs. May of 2018, I did this. It's been four and a half years. A lot has changed since, and a lot has stayed the same. So why not? Let's see how it goes. Um, thank you, by the way, to my buddy Snippy for bringing this back. He uh, has a mod called the T90 Nostalgia Mod. And, oh, wait, we can't see the cannonballs with Capture Age? Wait a second. Oh, God, guys, we, it's the invisible cannonballs. Capture Age doesn't, Capture Age doesn't know how to handle this. So I guess it's like, it's, <laughs> this is going to look ridiculous. Oh, but Gray sacrificed the majority of the penguins, but actually killed the iron boar with villagers so can take food from it. Yeah, I, what a, what a horrible dev team. You didn't plan for this, Capture Age? Come on. So I like to use Capture Age because I can do things like this, and I can do things like this, and I can look all around, and it shows the stats. So I'm not going to stop doing that, but just know the damage that's being done is indeed cannonballs. Um, anyways, in the gray, we have an experienced member of our community. We have Endurance. Uh, Endurance is playing as the Bengalis. In the yellow, with the penguins, we have Rakata Infinite Empire playing as the Chinese. Uh, in the red, we have uh, Emperor in a Bucket playing as the Burgundians. In the orange, we have Justice for Freya the Walrus playing as the Britons. In the green, currently bringing in an iron boar. Uh, and you can kind of see the, you kind of see the cannonball there. Look at these penguins go. Mm, 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 mm. Killed the boar, what a beast. Um, in the green, we have Buto, who is playing as the Bulgarians. In the blue, we have Lone Wolf playing as the Huns. In the purple, whoa. <laughs> purple. Are you micwing your penguins right now? I guess so. Uh, anyways, in the purple, we have Hindustanis for uh, Gondir. And then last but not least, we have Fixed It Again, who's playing as the Celts. Man, I can't believe we played this back in the day. So, you don't even have sheep on this map. So actually, d what Endurance did gives Endurance a massive head start because that's 700 food, which gives you enough food to produce 14 more villagers. So, um... Yeah, that's it, and we have a lot of time to get used to watching the players, you know, go after boars and look at penguins that are dancing. Purple is definitely microing the penguins. This is insane. Okay. And these are some these are some bouncy penguins. All right, so you know, before anyone says, "Oh my God, what you're torturing people," or even if the players say, "You're torturing us." I did say before they signed up that they should not sign up. I literally said, if you do this, you'll probably regret your time. We had 140 people sign up. Wow, the paint. Whoa. They're making some noise. And uh, here we are. Now, I didn't pick up on the fact that there was no sheep. So, again, I have to credit. Oh, God. Endurance, you're crazy. Oh, my God. I was going to say credit Endurance for getting all these villagers. But I think this is greedy. You do not want to bring a cannon board to your base. You're going to lose all the villagers you get. Okay. So a new vill has to hop out and somehow bring it in. Okay, so this is decent so far. I'm actually very impressed. It still takes a lot more hits. And the boar will also run away from the TC. Okay, here comes Endurance. All right. It keeps ejecting the ones that are not weak at the moment. Can he get the final? Okay, prediction. He's going to get the final hit with the penguin by mistake. Need to get it with the villager. Oh! <laughs> I called it because the penguins are in the TC. 
Oh, that sucks for him. He would have had 700 more food. But the penguins got the final hit. Oh, man, that's great. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's more fair. It's more fair. Uh, because everyone else is way behind. <laughs> so, man. Uh, he says, yeah, not worth. And Gondir says, at least the start isn't too stressful. So, uh, it, one thing I do remember about this map is that it's not very fair in how many boars are between the players and the middle. Um, still got to respect Purple for all the penguins moving around. But, like, look at Purple's perspective. Purple's got a massive wave of boars before that monument. I think the player in the best position is probably green. Like, green's fairly close to the monument. It doesn't have as many pockets of boars. They're all comparing populations right now. But, yeah, I mean, you've got to farm for the time being and uh, eventually build up towards something that can deal with these boars. And, again, it's not going to be easy. It is going to be painful, and we'll see what creative ideas these players come up with. Now, Shalker brings up an excellent point. So... To my knowledge, these things do not attack certain types of units. I don't think they attack scouts. I don't think they attack um, siege. And I also don't think they attack monks. So if you could go siege monk, I think you're safe from the boars. Obviously, you could then use the siege like Onager to cut through the trees as well. Um... And Gray says, managed to lure two, but only got one. Other died to the TC. Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm kind of disappointed no one else is trying it. Oh, God. Okay, Green is trying it. Okay, Budo. There's actually food right there, but Budo accidentally brought in three. Oh, this could be epic. Okay, Weaken. Villager now. Okay. Lose, lost a Vill, but think of how many you can create. Don't shoot it. Oh, God. Wait, wait. What happened there? That should be fine. I don't know what happened to the other one. I must have... Maybe he shot it with the TC. But there you go. 700 food. And having poles would be fantastic because your villagers would heal up. Because you could not justify bringing in another boar with the villagers this week. Anyways, a great recovery from some of these individuals here. Orange is uh, chopping into the darkness. That is the scariest thing you can do on this map. Because if you go too far into the darkness, there's going to be a boar back there. Unfortunate for these guys, the penguin's not really the most helpful tool. You can see one penguin has gone in here. Oh, that's a fair point. Maybe the cannon from the other boar did, like, killed the other boar and then green couldn't take it. Okay, so Orange can see that boar is there. And oh god, oh god. Okay, if this happens, don't try and save your penguin. Don't try and save your penguin. They also take out trees. Oh, don't. No, no. No, no. Let the penguin die, damn it. What are you doing? Uh, maybe this is intentional, actually. It seems to be intentional now. Other people are talking about bringing in the boars for food. But this is the first time Orange has tried this, to my knowledge, so I think Orange is going to be surprised at how difficult this is. But let us see. Okay, more villagers go into the TC. Beautiful micro. Very good micro. Look at the penguin micro. Okay, penguin's dead. Run away. Okay, the TC shot it. Or the penguin shot it. So now you get no food. <laughs> ah, that's so brutal. Oh, uh, it's not easy, man. I mean... The most impressive thing about Gray doing it was that Gray did it at the start when there were so few villagers. Anyways, we've got Feudal Age coming in. There are more boars over there if you really want to try it. They might want to use the penguin somehow. Uh, by the way, it is not diplomacy. It is straight free-for-all. So the players are all against each other. I figured, uh, why not make it less... Uh, I don't want to say less stressful, because you not only have all seven players against you, but you also have the boars against you. Uh, but I think it's just easier to follow. Um, diplomacy can be very hectic, and I think it'll be somewhat less hectic in terms of what they have to focus on. Uh, I'm not sure about Militia here from Lone Wolf. Uh, I think it gets one-shotted, but I... 
Okay, not one-shotted, but is now dead. That militia. Right. Let's talk civs. Huns. Best unit with Huns. Uh, cavalry? Cav archers, maybe? Get a mess of cav archers? Uh, what about purple? Hindustanis. You have lots of options with the Hindustanis you could consider. Camels, gulams. Maybe hand cannons with nine range. I kind of like the idea of the Hindustanis going boar hunting. That'd be cool. Uh, in the teal, fix it again. Celts? Celts could be huge. Siege? Could be sick. Uh, especially because Siege doesn't get aggroed by the boars. Uh, Bengalis? Elephant archers? <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, in the yellow, um... Oh god. Oh my god. Yellow. Yellow's playing as the Chinese, and yellow does not see the boars on the other side of the wood line. Basil, thank you so much for the stars, by the way, and I'm glad you could make it, Thank, and that means a lot, but oh my god. It's so unfortunate for yellow. That's yeah, easy for us to say make an outpost, but oh, uh, come on. I, I, I almost, I, I want to look away to introduce the other players, but I know that when I do, there's going to be dead villagers in this wood line. Gray is on the way to Castle Age. I'm impressed. Bengalis also do get two extra villagers when they arrive to each age, so that's nice. What are the trees at? This is at 30. And I can't click this other one, guys. Uh, That's at 60, I think. Yeah. Good question. Uh, there's no goths here, but goths do not get their bonus against boars, I don't think, because... Actually, I don't know. I do not know. It's been four and a half years, so why am I acting like I know what I'm talking about? Burgundians, good eco. Maybe they could go for some hand cannons as well, Kustier. Like, I would be against going for any melee unit. Um, In the orange, you've got the Britons. Britons could be great. Lots of archers with range could be amazing here. Budos, the Bulgarians. Cheap blacksmith upgrades. Got lots of good melee options with cav and infantry. You tested it and they do? Okay, well, it's, I guess it's good no one got goths in, so. But yeah, that's everybody, but we're still all focused on Yellow's woodline. Okay. Everyone's impressed. The penguins are all... Would you consider that a tweet? They're a bird, after all. Or maybe they consider it a call. Okay, now if Yellow's paying attention, Yellow could see that. Anyone want to trade in case I actually find someone? So again, it's straight free for all. You will be enemy with any with everyone, but you could technically trade. Technically, <laughs> I like how yellow yellow's already thinking about trade. Yellow, your mind's gonna be on something else here soon. Oh, that's true. Huns no onager. Oh, that is so painful. That's one of what like two sieves that you would not want to get on this type of map. Untrebs are more accurate, though, so you have that. And, oh, man, I'm really surprised the boars aren't attacking right now. This is what the boars can see. The boars can see a lot. Um, Shoot, where was I? Here I was. Oh, man. Because the thing is, I think, like... So the way Gaia works is if one thing in Gaia sees you, the other things in Gaia see you. It shouldn't trigger a group attack. Like, if one boar gets angry, all the boars around shouldn't get angry, but I think it somehow adds to, like, the vision of the boars that are close. But if they only have three tiles of range... I think they have three tiles of range, and you have to get into the range for it to attack you, but then once you have already been attacked or are being attacked by the boar, this is the distance it sees you with. So, long story short, if, like... Three villagers just were clicked right here. I guess you'd have to get him back out too. Oh, I don't know. How do cannon boars do against castles? Good question. I would love for someone to test to test that. Ray's going for a boom, but I don't know if you <laughs> like if you have too many villagers and a boar comes to town, that could be a problem. Mm. Yellow still has not shown any sign of worry. Uh oh. Okay, all right, so there's two iron boars coming to town. 
Yellow instant instantly reacts. And now the penguins are here to help. Um, oh god, the splash damage on these things is insane. Oh no! It's a massacre! It's a massacre! Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, no, penguins, penguins. There's so many more. No, not the penguins. Not the poor innocent penguins. Ah. Oh. Well, okay. Well, at least they went down fighting. Yellow says, ah, as if to say, ooh, wow, this is a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe I have bigger problems. Where's the KD at right now? Yellow has 25 deaths. Oh. Green is 14. Gray has 16. This TC is trouble. This TC is not a good town center, Gray. But, I mean, again, like, you, you continue to add Vils, and then you have more eco, but then it could all die. I still think it's probably worth it to add the villagers, though. Okay, green, green's been taking boars, and there's one that's close by, so that's going to be a problem. Orange still has penguins. Is now making outposts. Uh, two TCs over here for purple. Blue is booming. Great. I think blue wants to try a castle from what I heard. Endurance is definitely the lead runner right now, but it still will be a very long game. And honestly, guys, it might take quite a while until we get to the monument. Maybe I should have done fast speed, or maybe we just have more time to chill. That's cool with me, too. I can imagine the splash damage was not something that the players expected. Hmm. Does every Civ here get Heavy Scorpion? I still feel like Heavy Scorpion would be very good. I know Chinese do. I assume, like, I always assume every Civ gets Heavy Scorpion. I feel like Koreans doesn't. There's not many Civs that don't get it. Slaps Roof of TC. This bad boy can fit so many penguins in it. Yeah, let's go. Breaking out the memes. There's 15 penguins in there. Guitars don't? Okay. I, again, it's a tech that most civs get. I don't know if the Huns do, actually. Aztecs don't? Yeah, it's so random. Have I seen the new alone? Uh, like the frozen one? I have not. I, unless you're talking about standard alone in the most recent season that I have. Okay, so let's see how castles do. Um... Castles are pretty effective, I'd say. The problem is, it, I think they don't auto-attack the Iron Boars, so you need to micro them. Yeah, you see how it doesn't auto-attack the next one? And then they run away. Oh, God. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's so bad. <laughs> oh, and then it dies to the castle anyways. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, dude. Again, I think you need units that don't get aggroed by it. I think that's the trick. I, I do not think that you want to be fighting with uh, certain types of units here. Red says, I see my first boar. Really? Red hasn't encountered any boars? Oh, yeah, there it is. Red's got some big pockets. Yellow just says, then run. Look how scared yellow is of that opening now. Would you rather fight one bear-sized penguin or a hundred penguin-sized bears? These questions again. Hmm. One bear-sized penguin or a hundred penguin-sized bears? I feel like I would go with bear-sized penguin. Not because I think that would be easy, because I'm sure that thing would be vicious. But... I mean, bears are bears, man. They'd be nibbling on my ankle. I mean, actually, penguins are pretty big. I think it's a common misconception. People think penguins are small. Some species of penguins are freaking massive. Oh, oh, God. Oh, we've got knights against boars over here. Um, Kind of working, actually. That might actually be worth it. 
Um, we have full upgrades, which is a, which is costly. And there's also limited gold on the map. Oh yeah, there's limited gold on the map. Maybe that's not worth it. I like how a stone gate was made because of the boars. But yeah, I would go for the bear-sized penguin. Wait, the penguin-sized bear, whatever that was. Also, to the person that was asking me about the Alone show, I watched the most recent season, but not like the new stuff they're coming out with. Um, I really like the creative aspects of that show. For those that don't know, it's like a survival show. I always get torn near the end, though, because it's like these people are just like trying not to die, basically. So they win all the money and like they get all emotional and sad. And I just I kind of feel bad near the end. And it's not quite as fun. But it, some of the seasons of that show are really, really good. And some people are just so, so creative in how they survive. And then I sit there with a beard and some chips on the couch and I criticize their decisions. Like I would know what to do when I'm like, haven't eaten a proper meal in like 45 days. That's just how it works, right? It's the same with anything, right? You guys, there are people out there who'll be watching this. Like, why aren't you guys doing that? And you guys haven't played the game in years. A bunch of people watch sports, criticizing people, talking about that. And it's just how it goes. Um... It went badly. What are you guys using against them? <laughs> Yellow says ignorance. What? Yellow! You're a beast! It's actually smart, one villager castle, because if you line them all up, yeah, you'll get your castle up faster, but there's a greater chance that you'll aggro the boar, and there's a greater chance that um, all those, uh, and then more villagers would die, right? Not too bad. Beer-sized penguin, you can also debate. Can't do that with 100 bears. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Okay. Now, now, unfortunately, this archer just had to try and be helpful. The villagers said they were fine, and it had to be helpful, and now it's close to the town. Yeah, that castle will slowly take out the boars. Slowly. Very slowly. Meanwhile, we have the full Hun Horde over here. Again, not entirely sure it's worth. But it is something, and you do have to take care of them if you want to progress. Yeah, I think Yellow's going to get murder holes. I already got Bodkin Arrow, too. Castles are the way. If you can castle creep, that would be worth it. Towers probably as well. Uh, it, it just doesn't kill them quite as fast. I still can't believe Red hasn't been hit by a boar. Oh, you know what would be so cool to see? I want to see Red do Flemish Revolution on 200 vils and send them all in after this little pack of boars. Who wins? 200 Flemish Militia or 29 Iron Cannon boars? I, I don't even think it's close. <laughs> I, I think I would maybe put money on 10 Cannon boars taking out the 200 Militia because of the blast radius. I think the boars would win that easily. Um, but, I mean, we can assume these things, but that's not how science works. We have to test it, guys. Come on, Emperor in a Bucket. You can do it. So, if you're playing a game, and let's say you build a castle near enemy walls, it won't automatically attack the walls. But if you right-click one of the walls, the game will take out the rest of the walls. At least that's the way it used to work. Does this still work like that? I think that might have... Come to think of it, I tried that the other day. It didn't work. I don't know if it was a patch issue. Anyways, so what I'm getting at is like, in yellow situation, it's not automatically attacking the rest of the boards. This is all manual. So you right-click that one. You have to right-click the next one. You have to do the next one and the next one. Imp? These guys are in imp? Okay, I I'm still thinking siege is the way. Ray is going to try and drop a castle there, which seems smart. I think you can shift queue a castle. You should be able to shift queue attacks, but I don't know if you can do that against boars. But yeah, that would obviously be an idea. T90, you wanted to know which civs get heavy scorpion? I can post the list if you want. No, no, no. I want to know what civs don't get heavy scorpion. Because I feel like 80 to 90% of civs do get it. Here are the longbows. 
All right, using the length of the longbows in imp here against the boars. That's decent. I mean, there's not many of them. There's only five, so that that's getting pretty strong, actually. At T90, give Red $10 and then tell him to do Flemish and test your theory. If I start paying players to test my theories in community games, you guys are going to make a business out of it. Man, I, I spent all my money on salmon this week. I... Come on, Red. Do it for the people. <laughs> the dangerous, dangerous territory. You know, back there was this bonus where, like, it was crazy. So in April, uh, there was a subscriber bonus here where for every new subscriber, I received an additional $20 bonus. So I get 100% from the sub, which is 5 bucks. Thank you all the people who sub. 100%. None of it goes towards the platform. And I was also getting a $20 bonus. This guy shows up to me. He goes, hey... Give me 10 bucks and I'll sub. <laughs> He's like, $5 profit, baby. <laughs> like, honestly, you're a smart businessman. <laughs> you're a very smart businessman, but no. All right. Um, so here is the castle that I assume is going to try and shoot those boars. Lots of villagers. And the more they chop, the closer they get to packs of wild animals. I've heard someone is being attacked. Oh, it was yellow. Okay. Elite Longbowman in. And... Ooh, I wonder how Warwolf Trebs do against the boars. Aren't you still looking to progress? I think your best friend... is range. Well, you either want a unit that doesn't get aggroed by these things, or you want lots of range. Red says, OMG, so many. I, I don't think Red has experienced these things quite as much as the others, so is trying to move out through them now. That tower is going to town, and again, it just takes time. Yeah, give me $10 per account, and I'll sub to you with 100 accounts. Yeah, pretty much. By the way, um, I, I promised I would do an event with whatever the bonus is. That will happen. It's just things are so busy near the tail end of the year. I didn't have anybody, like, you know, coming to me like, you promised! Because, you know, there's been a few things that I still have yet to do that I, I've made plans for, but just in case people were wondering on that. List of civs that don't get it is in chat. Don't want to spam. Okay, well, maybe it's a longer list. All good, all good. Do you know how many... Can you tell me how many civs it is, at least? I just remember Koreans not getting it. So I feel like civilizations that get Siege Onager and Bombard Cannon shouldn't get it. Or maybe good Bombard Cannon civs in general. I, I don't know. 15. Dang. Ensberg, I, I'm aiming to try and do Laker League in December. Um, but yeah, like my life is super busy right now. We had TTL for, with, for a month and a half, and I had like two or three IRL obligations various points throughout that um i was just at a friend's wedding uh I'm, I'm going home with family in a couple days i'm already planning to leave the country for like 12 days and for germany uh Wollolo in october combined with the mini vacation there like and then there's all the content i plan on making and all the videos i want to do I, I can't throw much else on my plate at this point in time <laughs> but december like prior to christmas feels like a really good time so we'll see we'll see all right, so power techs coming in, uh, just like siege upgrades, uh, big things like paladin, any elite will show up. You can't patrol either. These things aren't viewed as enemy by your unit, so you can't patrol them in. These guys are kind of going towards each other right now. And of course they are enemies, right? Do they do splash damage, says Red. Well, you're about to find out. <laughs> Uh, here come the penguins. Okay. The penguins are waddling their way in there. The hand cannons are actually doing a... Oh, wow, they're one-shotting them. Wow, that's not bad. So clearing up these things pretty fast here. However, the boars will get some big splash damage shots in on the hand cannons now that there's no meat shield. But I guess, I mean, if you one-shot them before they fire, so if you had a few more, maybe it would be okay. 
Again, that's why I think it'd be really cool if you had the Indian hand cannons, because then you have nine range. Or a Hindustanis, excuse me. But hand cannons are the best thing I've seen so far. Dang! Uh, only a couple hits are coming in, too. Alright, so we might have that countdown starting pretty soon, because players are making progress. And they definitely build up towards military compositions that can compete against these things. Let's look at the total deaths so far. I'm sure we've missed some. Total deaths is pretty high. <laughs> In fact, yellow just lost more somewhere. Oh, <gasps> no way. Oh my God. Yellow went out with Chukunu and got all confident about it too. And was like, yeah, we got this right into the middle. And unlike the hand cannons, they just don't kill them fast enough. And oh, yikes. Yellow's not liking this too much. Or maybe yellow is. I don't know. Maybe maybe this is... Maybe yellow's into it. But um, yellow's certainly not had much progress in this area. The lumberjacks have gone down. The chukunu have gone down. The villagers. Pretty much anything that has attempted to kill these things has died. So... Why are you complaining? All of you... All you have to do is one-shot them, says Red. <laughs> well, they don't have hand cannons. whoop de dop Whoppity-doppity. My Chukunu are now Boar's KD property. <laughs> I thought it was a mistype. I thought he was trying to say words that he didn't know how to spell at the start of that sentence. whoppity doppity My Chukunu are now Boar's KD property. It rhymes. It was planned. Wow. All right, yellow. <laughs> well, you might want to consider a different unit. Unfortunately, hand cannons, uh, or sorry, Chinese do not get hand cannons. So that's not going to be an option. Um, Orange sees green here and is talking about it. And last I checked, purple was getting kind of close to teal, but uh, everything seems fine. Whoa, what's this countdown? Oh, gray got to the mid. Oh, Gray got to the mid. I missed it. Okay, cool. So Gray gets in the middle, and this is where we'll have our countdown for King of the Hill. And everyone's going to get that alert, as well as get vision on some area in the middle. So I think this will always be the player's color, but it just doesn't look special because it's Gray. So. All right, so Gray opened up a path. Uh, Teal's got siege onagers right now. But you see how these things, they'll, they'll like run to try and save their life, but they will not attack siege. Siege is definitely the way. That's probably like, man, Rathas. I don't know how Rathas do against hand cans. I feel like they'd be pretty good. My experience with Ratha is they're all right, unless the opponent starts to mix in skirms, and that's kind of a sad thing, right? It's like your unique unit handled by is handled by skirms. I think these two are probably going to have an agreement not to attack each other. Orange really likes the idea of using Trebs. How's Blue doing? God, not getting Onager sucks so much for Blue. Blue might never make it to the middle. Blue, life is not fair for you. Oh my god, wait a second. So Blue is actually going over towards green. Mm, that will make things interesting. Uh, we have Penguins dying in a mass grave over here. We have Yellow still using Onagers over here. We have, whoops, that was a capture age thing. We have villagers dying to boars and onagers here. And yeah, I mean, any direction you look, there's still going to be boars and you have to be careful. Now, I have not seen Trebs against boar yet. I'm wondering if that's what Blue is doing. There's a chance maybe they get one-shotted. Oh, God, this is bad. This is so bad for green. Oh, God, and green's looking here. Oh, God. Green could lose every single villager here. Look, the villagers automatically turn and fight. And Green's, I, I swear, is probably looking at this. Oh, no. Ouch. I wish I could have the KD top three. Wish I could toggle it. I cannot do that, but Green is just taking the lead. In a category you don't really want to lead with. 
490 years. We still have plenty of time on this countdown. But at the moment, Gray has it, and Gray's prepping to win. Green is giving the Vils to the Boar Gods. And Purple says, Teal, first player I see, smiley face. Not sure you're going to be too happy about that once you see what Teal has. But then again, there is limited gold. So I feel like Cat Paladin and Siege Onager will not last all games. And Emperor is asking if you get res by being in the middle. That's actually a very good question. I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to guess no because it's an old map. Actually, hold on. There's no relics. And the gold count's going up. So, yes, you do. Oh, geez. What's happening here? Okay. Tarkin has shown up. And the Tarkins have all gone down to what sounded like penguins and also boar. So, yeah. If he gets gold, he's getting a trickle of all resources. So, it's really nice to have the middle right now. So, green and blue are going to fight each other. And they still haven't dealt with all the boars. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yellow's slowly building out. Onager is, is the key ingredient there. Okay, this is a strategy, though. Bring the boars to the enemy. Oh, God. <laughs> I think everything could die here, guys. If blue doesn't realize, watch these cav archers. Wait for it. The cavalier had to die first. Okay. Okay, boars are angry. Boars are angry. Blue doesn't realize. His boar is angry. Splash damage will start to begin. Green units are being attacked. Some of the boars are now being attacked. It's not too bad for blue in the end. So in terms of competing for the middle right now, as teal is killing boars there and yellow is killing boars somewhere else, it's mainly just gray and red. But red is waiting. And, oh, and then we also have the longbows coming in. We still have plenty of time, 450 years. Hmm. It's a lot of longbows, too. 110 of them? What? You know what the strat is? Is just sit here. Sit here and just whittle down to everyone's gold units. Maybe not, actually, because red has bomber cannons. Yeah, I'm glad you liked the countdown, because we didn't have anything for King of the Hill with uh, Capture Age until recently. Oh, Emperor's going to go strategic here. Green only talking to you. Again, it's free-for-all. So you can talk to people and be sneaky, but you're always going to automatically attack them. It is not in our interest to fight each other when we need to take the middle. The red doesn't actually know where these players are located. Because talking to green doesn't make a lot of sense. Why are you coming here, Purple? Let's fix it again. Which is a fair point. I think Purple just wants to avoid the uh, boars, though. <laughs> Purple's in the worst spot. Oh my god, there's so many. There are too many boars on the other side. Yep, okay. Here are the longbows. They're thinking about moving in. More and more trees are being taken out by that trebuchet. Purple says, I can stop if you want. And if I were Teal, I would say, yes, please. Meanwhile, these two continue to fight. 410 years. It's been an eventful game. Blue has these cab archers trapped behind the wood line. It's not every day you see 10 units get trapped like that. But you're free. Run. You're free. All right. Well, you're dead now. But at least they got to experience freedom before they died. Orange only talking to you. Yeah, so this is red realizing that orange is there. But, like, at the end of the day, you're going to run into each other. I don't really know how you avoid that. What is nice, though, as we see another boar uh, attacking yellow's eco. I'm so concerned yellow's going to run past the boars with those chukanu after what happened before. But, guys, Burgundians get, um, they get gold when they farm, which is a massive bonus here. I think long-term, the gold collected should be way higher for red. Oh, God. The boars. The boars. The boars strike back. 
You shoot my friends, I shoot your your kids. <laughs> I I don't know what boars would say exactly. They might just oink, but uh But yeah, I, that happened. I would chop wood away, right? I would chop wood where I didn't see an opening. Hello, building some archery ranges, slowly taking out some boars, but still will take time. And now purple is uh, using the bomber cannons against these things and is going to try and avoid teal. Thing is, players run into each other all the time in Sand King of the Hill. It's just how it works. There's no avoiding it. Just have to prepare for it in the best way you can. Wow, look at these longbows, though. That's awesome. I'm not sure what you do in Gray's position. Like, you can hold here. And you can still try and hold the middle, but... What I've always said for years with King of the Hill is, uh... The first person to go to the middle normally dies. Yeah, an Onager shot on this would be sick. Or, I mean, Red has 12 Bombard Cannons, so that would be good as well. Elephant Archers are a high Pierce Armor unit. And they do have a lot of HP, but against this many Longbows, you just don't stand a chance. The fact they're only getting two-shotted, though, does show you how strong they are. Uh, it's actually a positive, I guess. Green and blue still have interest in fighting each other. I'm not seeing anything that's changing that. I think they feel a little lost, and we knew players could feel that way getting into this game. Yeah, you can try and use Onager, but the longbows can snipe the Onager from... Well, it should be 12 range, and then the Onagers only have 8 range with Siege Engineer. So against a good player, it's going to be tricky. Okay. It's a slowed down a little bit, but for the players, they're just... They've got so much to work through. Stockpile is really high for purple right now. 6,000 gold, but it's completely out of mining it. I think if we were to remake this map from the old version that we're using, we maybe should add relics. But, you know, if they run out of resources, every trash unit gets aggroed by the boars. So, <laughs> that's something. Yo, leave me alone, says Gray. Well, you've got the middle. But I don't think you're going to get your wish there. Red tried to talk to Orange earlier, and there was really no... Nothing that really came of it. Yellow says, sorry, overchop. Oh, this is what they're talking about. Oh, wow. So fix it again is just going to graze eco. And it's a great strat. At 350 years remaining when gray is everything in the middle, this is the way to do it. It's really frustrating if you're in gray's position. You're like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. But it is, from every other person's perspective, a very wise move because you don't want to run into a fully boomed player the more people you clear out on your flanks, the more, uh, the, the easier it is for you to move to the monument. Now, I don't like how he's not going for Halberdier. I think that would be a really smart move. But he's still got the penguins! First time I'll actually see the penguins attacking units from the enemy instead of boars. Red is asking Orange if they can attack from different angles. That's kind of up to you. I think you'd need to go this way, but then you run more into yellow, so... It's not going to be easy. I still forget the bi the bonuses that the Bengalis have. I think they take less bonus damage or something with their elephants. There's a lot of thumping going on. That's cool. I think the eco damage, though, is definitely going to last for a while here. Endurance down to 80 villagers. It is recoverable, but you have to spend a lot of your resources to get your economy back to where it was. I don't think resisting bonus damage does much here. Green, only to you. Gray has the monument. Why don't we stop the... Uh... That's a fair point, because Bulgarians can get Onager and cut to the middle. So, I, it's a fair point. I can't get there, says Uto. If I'm blue, I'm like, well, I can't either. <laughs> I can't get Onager. So, I guess Green has given up on it for some reason. Doesn't feel like it's a realistic objective. 
Doesn't seem like Endurance is gonna live, guys. And just as Endurance turned around to fight this, he's losing more and more ground, and then Yellow's gonna run in on this side. Also, hello, Emil. Welcome. Bonus damage reduction and unique tech increases attack speed. Gotcha. Thank you, Zlatl. Nice. Love watching your trebs. Oh, so Red's, Red's watching the trebs go to town? Oh! Britain trebs are no joke. Okay, so this is Red's path. This is Yellow's path. And then Blue and Green continue to fight each other over here. I think Blue brought up an excellent point. Why are we doing this when it's King of the Hill? However, the strategy we're seeing from Teal could end up working out for either one of these guys. You also have another an extra path if you're Teal. Like, Ray kind of did the work for you to get to the middle. That'd be funny. It's kind of funny because Teal told Purple, stop attacking me, and Purple's now obeying that. Can you imagine if Purple would have actually just gone over here and killed Teal? TCs are going to go down. Eco's going down everywhere for Gray, and I do think this could be the end for Endurance. There's certainly no way that Endurance takes the middle. But you have two choices. Try and reboom, which I don't think will work. Or try and win the middle, which I also don't think will work, but at least that's going for the win. If you're just getting here, basically the boars shoot invisible cannonballs and are very strong. Oh! <gasps> do they aggro bomber cannons? Oh, they do not. Can you imagine? Gray's not a happy camper. But Endurance has been accomplished in community games for years and took the middle early. It's a common mistake we've seen, and I think he's realizing now that maybe he shouldn't have been one out there. Hmm. Well, that's it for Endurance. Now, someone's going to want to at least step into the middle to take the countdown. Also, what is up with this bar? Is this... Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I just realized it's coming in from both sides. Wait. Oh, no, no. It did move. Okay. I'm all over the place. These longbows have 69 kills. Not as many as you would think. It doesn't count the boars. Yeah, only 69. As a whole, the kills probably still isn't that high, except for teal. Mm, yellow has four kills and 116 deaths. <laughs> Purple has zero kills and 42 deaths. Gray's just lost everything. This is Gray's last attempt here with the elephants. I think the elephants could actually do it. There's a lot of them there. Um, now, just leave the KFD there for a while. Yellow has so many Chukonu. Yeah, you take the middle, you get a tricky a trickle of gold. Every second spent there is worth it. And wow, endurance holds. And the issue I had with Teal is that Teal wasn't ever making helps, which is like, I feel essential on a map with no gold, and that is essential on a, with a civilization like Celts. Green and blue still fighting each other. Green is making progress, though. Again, we're still not sure if this really accomplishes anything. I do feel for blue. He did random Civ. The chances were so low that Turks or Huns would, would go to one of the players. Those are the Civs that don't get Onager. And so, you know, we knew it'd be painful for the boar reasons, but that adds another level, level of pain to this game. Red, why you attack me? That's, there's going to be a lot of that why you attack me, simply because even if they're not trying it, the units are automatically going to attack if they ha unless they have it on no attack stance, which they should. Ooh, SO on Ellie's. Let's go. Boom. One more shot. Decent. Boom. Oh, let's go. That was really well done. I mean, Gray's Vilcon has to be so low now, but somehow held on. Hmm. Stockpile, red, 2,000 gold. Purple, 9,000 gold. How would purple achieve that? I guess by selling at the market, probably. It has more villagers than anyone, so probably just, just selling wood more. 9k gold's no joke with this. If you can do a lot with gold with uh, the Hindustanis. 
Ah, okay, cool. So this is the first time I've seen this new uh, drop down for the King of the Hill games. It does change color. And yellow says these are peace rams, so don't attack those. Okay. Stop, green. We both are low score. I feel like green's decided a long time ago that this is just the life that he's going to live. Just cut to the middle. I feel bad. Green should just go to the middle. I, I don't know if you're gaining too much from going after blue. Now, green doesn't know that either. I've seen this enough times that where players just kind of feel helpless and they're like, well, I'll just do something because I, I don't know what to do. These maps will do that to you. We have Imperial Camels and Bomber Cannons right now for purple. A lot of Bomber Cannons. Mm, archer Ranges, so maybe we'll see Cavalry Archers or Hand Cannons. Bit of a reboom coming from Gray. It deals with Pikes now. Red has it at 160 years. Yellow seems to be the only one who might be competitive for the middle. But I guess we have orange as well. And now Fix It Again is asking for a truce. And if I know Endurance, he's going to say, shove it. <laughs> he's going to say, no, I don't even care about winning anymore. I'm going to attack you. But again, I think like Endurance, looking back, would understand why Trey was attacked. Because Trey was in the middle. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? So, Midna just said, I always wonder why mangoes aren't able to cut wood. So, the first Force Nothing game, the Force Nothing video, which is on my YouTube channel and started, was one of the few videos that caught on, like really caught on and started to blow my channel up, was Huns Only. I mean, I've seen Force Nothing since then, but the amount of Huns Only games we've done, I can probably still count on one hand. Those players are maniacs, man. Oh, oh, Warwolf Trap. Oh, please go after the Bomber Cannons. Come on. You know you want to. I think that could get six Bomber Cannons in one hit. He's rebooming. Gray didn't respond to that early request. Boom! It only got... Uh, oh, there we go. Boom! I love Warwolf. Love it when you have it. Hate it when you're against it. That's Britain's as a whole. Okay, guys, we're going to see the revolution for Red. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Red's going to go for the revolution, isn't he? The villagers will turn into military. It makes sense here, I think, if you think you can take it. The purple's just going to be coming to the middle now, but still has boars to work through. And this is because purple had gone this way. We'll see a lot of units go down to boars. Now, they might be paladins. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Purple says sorry. All our cannons are exposed. The gate's not finished yet. That's kind of funny looking. Okay, the camels actually will save them. Nice, nice, nice. Now there's there's cannon boars here. But you got to shoot those boars here, Purple, because you're going to lose your camels. I don't think camels have bonus damage against boars. Um, wait, do camels not get aggroed by the boars? Wait, what? Wait, what are they attacking? Villagers. Yo! That's crazy. Green's still attacking. Dude, I'm already dead. It's not a 1v1. I feel bad for blue. I think green is just like, I, I need to do something. I don't know what to do here. I'm lost in this crazy world. And I think green might feel a little bad about it later. But the revolution has started, guys. The revolution has started. And so red now has, with military, 183... And every time a military unit is lost, more villagers go back to farms. They have to take out all the units from around the monument. Can they do it? Oh, I was wrong, by the way. It looks like these things do get attacked. Oh, God. That is going to be so good for red and so bad for purple. Purple, you got to take the boars out first. Or take the boars to the middle! Yes! Take them to the middle! That's such an epic play! Now, it's an expensive loss for you. You lose a lot of army in the process. But if you could somehow get them all to, to stay around here, then Red's got to work on that. We'll see if Red pays attention to it, obviously. Red had hand cannons earlier. Um, here come Lightcav. 
Did I say, did I say long calf? Light calf and longbow. <laughs> um, and yeah, blue is going to die here and has no easy way to escape. Everyone's thinking about the middle. Now let's not forget about yellow. Yellow's here, elite chew canoe onager. It can be deadly. Bombard towers are gonna be helpful at protecting this. I'm worried that some of these players might have run out of gold here. It's apparently lagging. We have 70 years remaining. The boars are still going at it. But yellow's moving in. Now these two, they're running into each other. Standard free for all things. It happens. It's part of the game. They really have to start talking about going to the middle. A gray to get to the middle has to go through teal, but still I think... Feels like I'm not using a new path. This is the way I want to go, but you, you just got to get in there. You got to send whatever you can to engage against this now. Purple's making his way through here. The path thing's a little wonky, though. There's a lot of range units in there, too. It has to sit back and wait to take out the tower. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The longbows. They were stacked up on each other through that tiny little choke point. Also, these light cavers stuck. They're going to have to get a move on. 52 years? I'm, I'm not seeing any strong indicators that red's going to lose this. Yeah, Fire Nitro, I'm definitely watching tennis tonight. Ooh, Seadram could, could make a big difference, though. Meanwhile, blue was defeated. Sad times for blue. Salute to you. I, again, I think green just didn't know what to do. Green, unfortunately, like, if Green would actually have cut to the middle here, that's another player that can full compete with their own path. Somebody killed Blue. Looks like I was not the only targets as Red. No, you were not. Gray, Red will win if we continue. And Gray says just go. Yeah, this is a conversation they need to have earlier. But okay, here we go. Just send what you have. Go for it. Now, you have to micro these longbows against the bomber cannons, or you'll lose all of them. And that is something that Orange is doing pretty well. Problem is, there's so many of them. Oh, and the longbows stack. Oh! All right, light cav in. Light cav have good upgrades. Hand cannons are still stacked there, though. Here come the siege rams. Sorry, there's no siege rams. We've got hussars. We've got siege, siege onager. It's a flurry now. Everyone's coming to the middle. Are Red's units glitched inside the monument? No! Are you kidding? I mean, I've seen it before. The new pathing from the new patch has glitched units into the monument. That's cheating, man. But every... Oh, it's getting so crazy. Red's got reinforcements, but the longbows will kind of help with cutting that off. Also, Orange is sniping the units that are bugged into the monument. Red's military population is still at 130, though, and you only need one unit to be in the middle. Here are the Hussars. There's the Chukunu and the Halps. Siege Onager would really be helpful here if Teal could get that in there. Red is running out of resources. Wow, look at this. The specifics on the amount of years remaining. We've got seven years. I I'm experienced enough to know that Red is in a still in a pretty good spot to do this. He just needs one unit. You can tell he's grouping them up and clicking them into the middle right now. Two and a half years. Down to two. One and a half years. About to be down to one. It's so close. And he gets it. Barely, though. Barely. Like, what does he have? He's got this. Okay, so let's group up the middle. He has six units. And I actually, I think I selected that one, which is not even in the middle. He had five units. Man, if they would have come in a little bit earlier, they would have taken them out. Well, the first person to go to the middle almost died and had to come back into this. Well played, Gray. Everybody else, they ended up getting to the, the middle a little late there to stop Red from doing it. Um, realistically, and we said this before, we did this because we I wanted to see what the cannon boars were like. <laughs> it had been four and a half years. And uh, memory did serve me correctly here. I uh, felt like it would be pretty insane and the focus would be on how much damage the boars have done. Uh, let's look at the KD 
and C. Now, someone's going to have to add this up for us. But there's going to be a discrepancy between the amount of kills from players and the amount of deaths. And whatever that difference is, that was all kills from boars in this game. If I had to guess, I would say maybe 200 plus kills from boars. Maybe more. I mean, probably is more, but some players lost more than others. I'm going to go with 400, actually. But that's not actually uh, me looking at the numbers. So, um, Resources collected here. Burgundian's pretty darn strong on a map where there's no relics, right? They get all that gold from farms, and I think Emperor in a Bucket will be pleased with that. Also, Emperor in a Bucket was higher rated than I think all the other players in the game. But, I mean, still, you know, it was really, really close near the tail end there. Uh, to the players who put themselves through that punishment so we could test this classic map, thank you. Uh, I hope the viewers enjoyed it. Um, all the creative strategies or lack of strategy at times to get rid of the boars was fun to watch. I don't know if we'll be bringing this map back soon because it is brutal. Um, <laughs> someone's asking for a re. Now, I'm not sure if we'll do a re. Uh, maybe in like another four and a half years, we'll bring this back. Or maybe we'll tweak it a little bit. Like what I think is cool about this map is the fact that you start with some type of unit to combat the, the boars. However... As someone said, 476 kills for boars. Dang. <laughs> Starting with penguins wasn't the most helpful. Uh, in some of the other examples I had seen, players started with uh, like 750 HP elephants. And they were heroes too, so they would heal up too. And I, I kind of like the idea of maybe having stronger units to, to help the players out a little more. I am glad we did straight free-for-all though. Obviously, it, it brought in some problems, but... If you combine Diplomacy with King of the Hill, the game goes on for like six days. So, uh, good game. Fun one.